Here we have a lion. Here we have a lion walking with the beautiful sunrise. Isn't that nice? Now he's going to disappear behind the bush, but it looks like tenure, but we'll confirm it in a moment. Let's get another position. They're not far. So like I said, it's important. When you hear something calling, you break the rules and you carry on going. Let's see, are you going to come and look for water around here? I don't think there's much water in this pan, I'm afraid, my boy. I'll try and just follow him here. I don't know where he's going. Now, I don't know if it was this lion that was just doing the calling or if he's perhaps responding to another call. Um, yesterday, I'm just going to try and get in front of him again. Yesterday, I didn't actually get to see which males were in the pride at all. Obviously, I knew Mfumo was there, but I didn't know that Tinyo had arrived. Let's get another spot over here. But just a classic dark mane. Also, quite a bit of scarring. And you can see that patch of skin that's bare, that hasn't got any hair under his belly. That is a classic tenure sign. Though there are many different things uh, that indicate him. He's also got a half moon in his ear, and he's also got a slit on his lip. But that scar has actually healed very, very well. Okay. We keep going. How cool is this? Now he's a patrol at the moment. The Birminghams have definitely made their presence known uh, over the last couple of hours and he also just marked up against that quarry shrub. Well, let's see where you're going to take us now. Please don't take us into the drainage line. Thank goodness. Well done, boy. much experience in here uh, it's it's an absolute nightmare very very difficult to try and navigate no real clear pathways but he's coming back this way now he should come right past us we'll just follow him through the gaps see he's got his nose down on the ground he's definitely trying to pick up a scent and that's what makes me think maybe he's trying to retrace the lionesses from the Nkuhuma pride or perhaps even just one of his coalition members he's just stopped there for a moment you can just see the tip of his tail remember this is live this is happening right now we'd love to hear from you always take screenshots send them to us hashtag safari live oh no now he's going down and into the drainage line so we might be able to catch him in this next dip just want to make sure that I see exactly where he's going oh, he's walking straight through here Maybe he's going to pop back up at Vuyatela Dam. The other thing, though, is that the guests haven't left camp just yet. So hopefully they down their coffees or put them in takeaway cups and get on the move and come and join us with these, with these big cats. Oh. Oh, we just need to figure out where he's going to come through. He's coming this way. He's actually moving fairly quickly. It shouldn't be too long. Here's a big animal pathway. Let's see if he's going to utilize this one and come through here. When you are moving through drainage lines, it, like I said, not only is it quite dense for us and the vehicles, but it's also quite dense for the animals. So they will make use of these big pathways. And this is a spot that Tingana actually likes to walk, our resident male leopard. But now we have to wait. You see, he can actually go wherever he wants. He might just walk straight through the drainage system. Then that will be tricky to try and get him again. But at least we know the direction that he's going. And at least we have lions on the property. Like I said, we're very fortunate that they're in the heart of Duma now. So they're not particularly close to any boundaries. But these males could, or can, travel huge distances in a matter of minutes. Is he not coming through here? Make sure he's not coming up from behind. Oh no. Maybe we're gonna have to... Uh, Alice, are you still here? We lost comms. I'm, it's very quiet, so I get worried. Oh, okay. Just checking, because we've had so many comms issues when everyone goes so silent, it makes me think that we don't... When I'm not live anymore. Um... Oh, I need to try. I don't know where he's gone now. He could have even crossed the drainage line and gone to the other side. I 
Peyton, you said that starting with a Birmingham boy is the perfect way to begin drive. It is indeed. Ah, um, Alice, we just our things are falling off of the camera. <laughs> Poor Senzo needs to retape and re-cable tie a couple of things that he's not going to be able to do while we're live, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find this line. We're just going to, of course, try and fix the camera, but hopefully we'll see you shortly with the line again. Let's go back across to Tara, and I'm sure she's so excited to be back on home ground.